New South London club called Loki opens up next week. The team said the Brixton space will prioritise extended sets back to backs and not ridiculously expensive ticket prices. I wonder if this is a response or reaction to what's happening globally with the lack of people actually going out with the fact that a lot of people who are European based maybe can't come over to London, especially some of the bigger acts. Maybe a lot of them have also kind of pivoted away from traveling because I've heard that also through, through the grapevine that a lot of big acts are basically refusing to travel outside of their, you know, whatever region, whether it's Europe or whatever it may be, um, because of how expensive it is to get around and because of how long they are going to be spending away from family and whatnot. And because generally the pandemic and COVID or well, the lockdown specifically has changed people's priorities. People are now at the point where they realize, hey, I can actually survive pretty decently and live a really decent life if I play maybe three weekends out of the month. I don't need to be away all the time, but it does help if I'm able to come back every Sunday and shit, right? And put my, my kids into bed before they go to school on Monday. And, you know, that would obviously take out going to places like London, which might take a bit longer to get back home. So that might be a response to this, this club opening up and having this kind of, you know, approach to booking and whatnot but even if that's not the case i do think this is quite interesting having a space that prioritizes extended sets which i've said before is something that i wish would be um pushed a lot more in london but because of how our clubs open and because of our draconian drinking laws and shit it makes it all licensing laws it makes it difficult to have people to play an extended set because essentially you're kind of you i won't say you're cutting enough to spite your face but you are in a way because i reckon the whole premise of why these places book the same old names or the same range of names in these you know to kind of fill up a lineup is because the hope is each person playing it's going to bring a fan base and you're hoping that fan base comes and they spend a lot of money on drinks and stuff and they stay until the end um that's what you're hoping so you know each one kind of is going to bring like a hundred people you know under the from the strength of their name or their celebrity alone but if you do extended sets you're basically banking on just one person being able to fill out a room or two people so it's a bit difficult which is why a lot, a lot of places do it but i think now considering the how what the what's going on with the world of it kind of being on fire and considering people's hobbies habits and kind of wants have kind of changed you need to offer something different and I think the best way to do it is kind of to do something that doesn't maybe require any decision making skills. You don't need to sit there and um and ah, do I want to see X, Y, and Z? It just, you know, you know straight away this place Loki always has extended sets, good back to backs, and it's not that expensive. So that you it will make make a decision, okay, cool, I wanna go out, it's Friday night, down we go Loki, we'll pay ten to go, we're not fifteen quid, and we're gonna see some proper people playing between ten to four. That's a pretty good approach, I think. But I would, I would like to see the inside. Anyway, continue. So it says, any venue could Loki's opening in Brixton, South London next week, located on 32, 302 to 304 Barrington Road in what used to be the East Brixton Railway Station. Loki is a refreshing new 250 capacity space with touch up sound system a spokesperson told resident advisors the club will prioritize extended sets back to backs and not ridiculously expensive ticket prices loki which is run by the team behind the fox and firkin pub illusion no idea this is the thing as well that's really interesting as well in london it's very um it's very regional like there's loads of little scenes in different areas across london that you that don't really share anything in common and they kind of exist on their own dime. And I think South London is a good example of it. They've got an entire club scene over there, an entire different range of clubs that people go to and attend to. And they don't really overlap that much with places in the East, places in North, places in West. But I would like to go to, I would like us to get to a point where in the future we have one version of like a fold in each area of London, like Northwest um, and South, whatever, in terms of a place that opens until 6 a.m. That would be perfect. That would really put us on the next kind of level because at the moment, there's still only a couple of places that are open until that time and some of them are a bit weird like i've got a place near me um which is like a pubby type place that's open until four or six but again it's not like a place where djs play it's just like a really ra a really kind of run i don't want to say run down but a really kind of ghetto sort of um you know pub that people go to after hours but it's not the best vibe in there also to be having an actual legitimate place where people can go and dance until those times would be absolutely amazing i think but hey what do i know it says here, um, if run the, the, the Fox and Kirk Lewisham, you're open for a private launch on November the second next week. It says, I guess, soundtrack by OK Williams and Nat Home. The club will open, then officially open to the public on November fourth with Bluetooth and Softy. On November the tenth, Loki will host an all vinyl party with Kyle Toole and Key and O'Keefe. The first in a run of weekly Thursday parties with one pound entry. Our DJs booked in November include Angel Delight. 
um, Ben Hawke, Jay Wax, Jay Duncan, Mr. Ridley, and Shivam Sharma. I like that all these people, I don't know their names, except for Angel Delight. And I like the fact that they sound like they could be all locals because that's something as well that kind of gets a bee under my bonnet. You open these places up and you just start booking fucking mash your plex and shit. It's like, what's the point? Um, but yeah, this is a five for it. Five to ten pound on RA. So I guess it's going to be the price in terms of going there. And it looks pretty awesome. Um, I want to, I definitely want to make sure and see if they're posting pics of it on the inside because I'm, I'm a fucking sucker for good inside pics of clubs and seeing the sound system and seeing what the bar would be and whatnot. Or it might just turn into one of those places where they kind of keep it under wraps until the day it actually launches so people can be surprised or what's on the inside of it. But let's see the Instagram stories and see if they've got the actual picture of the inside of it because I'd like to see what it looks like and what the vibe is in general. Um, but I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of exposed bricks, a lot of beams and stuff like that. I'd imagine the general kind of thing. Why isn't it opening up the story? Come on, open up. Let's see you, mate. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Nope, it's not happening. Still not loading. Still not loading. Come on, come on, come on, son. Okay, let's just refresh this again then. Okay, still not having it. Damn, son. Okay, maybe I'll check my phone actually, see if it's got it. Yeah, let's see, my phone's on here. Can I see the story? Okay, no, nothing really anyway. It's just the same flyer repeated here on the bottom, so nothing really on there. But I'm also I'm really curious to see what it ends up looking like on the inside to get an idea on the vibe and shit. But definitely we'll check it out when it definitely ends up opening. I cannot wait to check it out. And like I said before, um, more details about it are obviously available. I'll put the link again in the show notes to check it out yourself if you want to. Um, low key opening soon. Low key opening soon.